Hi, thanks for joining me today. It's Geraldine from the Paper Puffin Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to make this Dutch door fold card. This card fits into an A2 envelope and opens like this, and two little flaps open. These two little flaps are used nicely when you want to display the card because they can open up and allow your card to rest on the doors. I've made another version also with a spring theme, and here's the other one that I made. This time I used the image of the duck, and when we open it, we see the little ducks on the inside. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. Let's begin by reviewing all of the pieces that you're going to need to build this card. You're going to need for your base color, a piece that measures four and one eighth by nine inches. You'll need another piece that measures two inches by eight and a half inches. And then I cut this piece out using the stitched rectangle dies. And this is the die that measures two and five eighths by four and one eighth. You'll need a piece of white cardstock for the inside of your card and this measures five and a quarter inches by three and seven eighths. You'll need another piece of white for the front, and this measures three and seven eighths by three and a quarter. And you'll need two pieces, each measuring one and seven eighths by one and three quarter. You'll need a piece of white for the front, and you're going to stamp the image and the sentiment on this one. I use the stitch rectangle die, and this particular one measures two and three eighths by three and three quarters. You'll need three pieces of designer series paper. You'll need one measuring three and five eighths by three inches, and two measuring one and five eighths by one and a half inches. Now I'm ready to score the base of the card. So with the longest side along the top of the trimmer, I'm going to line it up at five and a half inches and score. I'm then going to take the other strip of paper, which we measured two inches by eight and a half inches, and we're going to score this along the longest edge, lining it up at two and one eighth of an inch and score them. And then I'm going to take the paper out, turn it around, and score it again at two and one eighth. And that's it for the scoring. I'm now ready to fold and burnish along these score lines. Each of these score lines will be scored as a mountain fold, so I'll be doing that with this piece of paper and then with this one. For this card, I'm going to be using images and sentiments from two separate sets. One is Fable Friends and one is Springtime Joy. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the image that I want on the insert before I attach the insert to the card. And I'm going to be putting the image down at the bottom here and a sentiment here. I'll go ahead and do that and we'll pick up there. So I went ahead and stamped the sentiment and the images that I wanted and colored the little basket. Now I'm ready to start putting all of the other pieces together. Now to assemble all of these other pieces, I've got all the white mats and all of the designer series paper. These will get attached like so. And then these two pieces will get attached to the front portion of the doors. I'll go ahead and do that and we'll pick up there. So now that the designer series paper has been attached to the doors, and then to this piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this panel to the front of the card, and then I'll be attaching the piece that acts as the doors to the card like this. To do this, I'll be putting glue on this portion on the inside here, and then lining up my card 
to go in the center and then the doors will close like so. I'll go ahead and glue those pieces in place. Now that the door panels and this front panel are in place, I'm going to take the rectangle that I cut out using the stitch shape rectangle and I'm going to stamp the image and the greeting on the front. Now I'm ready to attach this panel to the front of the card. Now notice when I attach this panel, I won't be attaching it to the bottom doors because I need these doors to open. So I'll just keep in mind where I want my glue to stop and I'll be putting glue on the back of this panel in this region right here. I then am going to attach the image to the front using dimensionals. Now here's the finished card. When you receive this card, it opens and opens like this. And then for display, you can stand it up with the two doors open and the front of the card just resting on those doors. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.